While humans are dealing with the H1N1 virus, there's another flu virus that pet owners need to know about because it's spreading in the dog world. Our resident vet veterinarian, Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell, is here with the details. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Maggie. It's called actually H3N8, or canine influenza, and it was first discovered five years ago, but finally now there is a new vaccine available, which is a good thing because no dog has natural immunity to this very contagious virus. Hey, in 2004, a mysterious virus raced through greyhounds at Florida racetracks almost as fast as these sprinters can run. It caused coughing, high fever, runny noses, and in many cases, life-threatening pneumonia. It was disturbing because of the fact that so many dogs were sick and some were dying. Within six months, this devastating disease had spread to 14 tracks in six states. A year later, in 2005, the virus was still spreading, but finally, some answers. Dr. Cinda Crawford, veterinarian at University of Florida's Veterinary School, identified the bug. It is highly contagious. Virtually all dogs exposed to this virus will become infected. Today, this highly contagious virus has been identified in 30 states, affecting thousands of dogs in shelters, boarding kennels, and doggy daycare facilities. The spread of the virus seems to have plateaued in many areas. However, there are four or five states that are still seeing outbreaks. They include Florida, Colorado, New York, Pennsylvania, and there is an outbreak currently in Virginia, it seems. Yeah. Maggie, it's that, a little scary. It is very scary. That, that dog that we saw creep into your shot is Harley. He's going to get a flu shot. Yes. His owner is also a vet, Debbie Wall. Let me ask you before we get to the flu shot, how is this anything like H1N1? Well, it is a type A influenza. However, it is not swine flu, as we like to call it, and the canine influenza is not not contagious to human beings so far as we know. The CDC has found no evidence that canine flu can be given to people or okay. even given to other species. How deadly can it be? For uh, the, dogs? the mortality rate is about 5%. It's very similar to, to the human H1N1 in that generally it's mild, there's a cough, there is a nasal discharge, sometimes with a secondary bacterial infection, but by and large, most dogs recover from it except for those that go on to pneumonia. Yeah, what has been your experience in your practice, Dr. Wall? That is pretty much what we saw several years ago. There was an outbreak in our area. We think it came from a dog who used to go to a doggy daycare center in the city. Mm. And because it's so contagious, quite a few dogs got ill from it. And that's what we saw. We saw a lot of dogs who were coughing, nasal discharge, fever, um, anywhere from mild to severe. Most of the dogs got over it in one or two weeks. Right. Some of the dogs that did progress to pneumonia, and in those cases, okay. they did get very sick, and one or two did pass away from mm -hmm. it. All right, so the best thing we can all do for our dogs is to do what we're going to do for Harley this morning. Yes, Dr. Give Wall is going shot. to vaccinate Harley, and Harley is in the group that should be vaccinated yes. because Dr. Wall works with animals. Dogs okay. that go to kennels, doggy daycares, that show at shows, go to grooming parlors because this is a, a virus that spreads in communal areas mm. should be vaccinated and people that work with animals should vaccinate their own animals. Go ahead Dr. Wall, we'll pull mm -hmm. this out. It's a subcutaneous vaccination which means it just goes right in under the skin. There's two shots. Gets, uh, Harley will get one today in two to four weeks. He'll he's get like, one hey. more. He's and like, then he looked back. Great. He goes, I That's felt great. that, Mom. Good job, uh, Harley. And, and oh then he's good. Aww. This is called a lifestyle vaccine. If you have a dog that's at home, stays in your yard, never comes in contact with other dogs, probably doesn't need okay. this vaccine. But if you travel, you go to kennels, this vaccine is for you. Such great yeah. information. Thank you, doctors, Thank both you. of you.